Saturday morning, 12.30 kick off in City Square. Doesn't feel natural, does it? But what will City do against Liverpool today? I wonder what the fans are thinking today. 6.67 seconds, a movie star or a teammate of yours. This is Raputin, and he can tell you a story. Wizard, change the king. And this is work then, you have to be in a group of four or? Um, no, it doesn't matter, you can do it in one or in a group of three, four, however you like. Come on, you've got to stand there, show us what it's like. We can make Alpha 1 ask a safe and fun kind. Chips, just chips. Yeah. Oh, there's all that array there. Oh, I'm going for chips. Walk of black pudding sausage. Yeah, <laughs> Support some chips for me, I'll be all right. Just chips, chips. What about you? What are you having? I'm not having anything, mate. I'm not hungry. Yeah, I'm not hungry. He's as good as his word, he's just getting chips. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon's going to happen today? Um, I don't know. 2 1, 2 1 City. You don't sound very convinced. 2 1, well, it's a trick, it's a tough game, isn't it? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not getting anything, man. Nah, I think we'll win, though. So what's the mood today, then? Uh, I'd like to say confident, but bogey team, aren't they, Liverpool? Uh, we deserve to give them a thrashing. On what basis? I, I hate them. <laughs> that's good enough for me. Uh, no, 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 that's just joking aside. We, have, um, we haven't beat for a while, have we? Not, not comprehensively, and it's... Uh, it's just one of those teams that we always seem to struggle against, so hopefully today we'll do it. What team is going to put out though, that's a different matter. I wouldn't like to hazard a guess of um, what system is going to play. What do you make of all this uh, early start and rain and everything like that? Hate it. Absolutely hate the early start. We're, we travel for every game. Uh, we come from Corby in, in the East Midlands. Right. Uh, we come every game, but uh, it's an early start for half past 12 games, so not too good. And driving uh, up in a storm as well as you probably no, were. On the train, we were lucky we come oh, up right. on the train. But on the plus side, we get home early. <laughs> with three points, hopefully. Well, we don't want no, green one, we want a blue one, don't we? It's what? I'm hoping today. It's a I'm hoping. Well, I'm hoping for three points, but I'm hoping for a clean sheet as well. Never mind, home. What's actually going to happen? Yeah. We should win. Yeah. We should. We should. And all these words. It's, 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 well, I get confident and then it all goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Explain the logic behind that. I was confident last game. It worked out in the end, but it's, you have to put us through it, don't they? <laughs> but it's, 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 it's... Think of all the things just said to these gentlemen before. Ten years ago, if we'd have said constant top four every season, we'd have taken that. And now we're going, is that a good season? Yeah, it is. Be realistic, it's top four. It's nice to win, though, isn't it? <laughs> Let's hope so. Oh, got a sweet, thank you. Have you got a clue why I just got you This has got to be the easiest prize ever. Because you don't have to do anything. You know, like Carol there and Mia, she had to answer a question. As long as Aguero starts, we'll win. You guys don't even have to answer a question. There's three guys wearing these these jackets here. What do you actually do then? We are PDA operators, so we just help people that can't get into the stadium. PDA operators? PDA operators. Right, well, have we ever got a PDA that needs operating and you're the man then? Well, <laughs> he's the man. What, what on earth does that mean? No, we're here to help people who have trouble getting into the stadium. We're, we're, we're part of the ticket office. So uh, if you come up to us and you can't get in because your ticket ain't working, we'll, we'll help you out. Right. And as long as you bought a ticket, we'll get you. And obviously, we know that particularly midweek match days, there can be long queues. Yeah. Are you to try to speed that up then? Well, no, that's up to the stewards on the gate, really. We're just there, we're more of a liaison. People come and ask us advice and, and we'll help them out. But uh, we're not really connected to the actual uh, getting them into the stadium itself. We're just here to help them when they're having trouble with a ticket. But yeah, I mean, our advice is always get here as early as you can, avoid the queues. So, what's the score going to be today? 
Eight nil. Eight nil. Yeah, we may as well. I I'm, 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 don't I'm, think Liverpool are going to win by that many. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm ridiculously biased and ridiculously optimistic. But considering I've been a City fan for 44 years, it's quite amazing. But you know, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with eight nil. Yeah, okay, yeah, no problem. Well, at least the rain stopped now. Uh, I'm going to walk around towards the south stand, which is the stand behind me here, which is generally where the more vociferous City fans are. So let's get a final view before kick-off of one or two of the fans who are going to be singing their hearts out for City this afternoon. So here's a couple of lads about to do all the singing this afternoon. Have you tuned up your voices? Absolutely, Ian. Yeah, we're ready for get them going against the uh, Red Scousers. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, we hate Man United, that's always yeah. a good one with the Liverpool fans, they all seem to join in with that one. Right. Yeah, so, uh, anything else? Play your name, shine the colours. <laughs> it's always yeah. a typical one that we sing. Are you confident today? Uh, no, um, it depends on the lineup. I'm waiting, yeah. to, I'm waiting to hear the teams now. So, if, we get a, if we've got the right team out, I think we can beat him. But I'm a bit worried about the back four, if he goes with the back four. Yeah. Hopefully, I think he, if he goes with the back three, I think that might be better against these. So team news is out. Um, yeah. What do you make of it? Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, I'm surprised that uh, Yaya's been dropped completely um, in favour of Delph and, uh but it's good to see Gundogan back. Um, he's not starting though. I mean, he's, he's... no. Um, I wouldn't start him. In. It's going to be an intense, fast-paced game. I think so. Just take, you're better off just taking your time with him. With regards to the starting eleven, um, I'm interested to see how Danilo does it as a centre half if he's going to go with the three. Um, I, um, I'm glad to see Walker and Mendy in there, that's going to cause them some problems. Um, and then up front, I just don't know how it's... Uh, you, you got Fernandinho sitting, then De Bruyne and Silva, and then Aguero and Jesus. So I'm assuming they've just all got a free reign and they can do what they want, I suppose. Uh, but we'll see how it goes, but I'm confident. It's half-time here, Sean. Uh, obviously the big talking point is that sending off. What do you make of it? Yeah, well, I, I had the privilege of seeing some replays and it was serious contact. Uh, and I think it's unfortunate because I put myself in that position. I think I would have led with my foot as well. And I think he just didn't, with a fraction of a second, he just didn't sort of pull his foot back out knowing that he couldn't get there, which may have resulted in just a yellow. But when I saw it, looking at the contact, for me, it's a definite red card. I understand what you're saying because, it, you know, people say it, it wasn't looking to do that. He yeah. was looking at the ball and everything. But I suppose under the definition of the law, reckless and dangerous, and that's, we saw the result. Exactly. It can't be anything but a red, can it? Yeah, exactly. And so for me, that's why I, I've been in that position when I was playing. You can see that someone's going to get there just before you. So that's when you just pull your foot back and then you don't get that contact. But he still had his foot, if you, if you like, just still firm and the contact was made. And for me, yeah, definite, definite red card there. Since he deserved to be winning 2-0 as well, don't they? Well, yes, because you, you always knew that they had to change the tactics. They couldn't press the way they wanted to. Um, and with that, it was just a matter of time. Azu, it looks as though they've gone 3-5-2, but Azu's moving up the middle alongside a grow. And with that, fractions of, well, you're talking, you're talking a minute or two, and, and he, he goes and scores, and scores two, but once there's allowed. Olivia Heskey, from a Liverpool perspective, what did you make of that sending off? It was a disappointing sending off, um, but I think the, the ref got it spot on, to be honest with you. Um, I actually went, to be seen at full speed, I, uh, I said it was definitely a red card. And then it looks worse when you actually see it, watch it back. So um, it's difficult to say, it's difficult for him to argue that, you know, uh, it, shouldn't have been a, it shouldn't have been a sending off. As a striker, would you have gone in like that? I mean, didn't, didn't I, I don't think he meant it. I don't know. I, it looked like he didn't see the uh, goalie coming because sometimes you know when the ball's bouncing over your shoulder and you're chasing, you're not actually watching where the goalkeeper's coming. So it looked like he didn't actually see the goalkeeper coming the way he lifted his foot. Because you just wouldn't lift your foot like that uh, with the goalkeeper coming towards you. Since they're going to go and win this now, aren't they? Well, you should know the onus is on them to be honest. They're two nil up, uh, ten men uh, playing against ten men. Uh, I was, you know, so they they got to keep the ball and, and keep it moving and, uh, and look, for, look to kill off the game. Yeah, yeah.
Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. That's all I can say. Absolutely brilliant. That last girl was a cracker. Is it a red card, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Excellent. So, what do you think of that then? Carry on like that. Every week will be awesome, not a problem. Obviously a big turning point was the sending off. Did you think that was what decided it? No, we I think we got that first goal initially and we, we never looked back, did we? Are we going to ever wipe that smile off your face? No chance, no chance. No, 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 you don't want to do that. <laughs> Enjoy your evening. Thank you, cheers again. Go on, what do you Great think result. Of Oh. Perfect, needed it, goal difference, brilliant, and stuff the Reds. <laughs> it's particularly nice against Liverpool, is it? Always. Especially the last couple of years, it's been really difficult. I was kind of always expecting a one all draw or something, but obviously the Marnie thing changed the game. But yeah, fantastic result. Do you fantastic. Think, do you think it was all down to that setting off? Well, we were 1 0 up already, but yeah, any, any team goes down to 10 men, it makes it harder. I know we were against Everton, we were the better side then. They had to change their formation, change the style of play, not their confidence. Jesus, second goal, what, injury time, first half, yeah. I made a point on Twitter that against Everton, City were down to 10 men and came back. But I would say, well, I would say, everyone would say, we're a better team than Everton, so you'd expect that. We had the fight, we had the right mentality, the right attitude. Clearly it affected them today and they didn't deal with it very well. That's the difference between winning sides and sides that finished fourth. That winning mentality. So now all of a sudden, the trip to Feyenoord looks a bit easier than it did before. It does. It does. Can't make it this year, but um, yeah. No, it's. What did you think of it? Excellent. Excellent today. Really enjoyed that. That's great because it from the start of the match, I mean, I thought Kevin De Bruyne was brilliant today. Everything went through. Him. De Bruyne Everything went was through him in the middle. Fantastic. Yeah, I think. After a shaky start, the defence though looked so solid as well, which made a change. But he did play that different formation today. Very good, yeah, very good. Uh, can I also make a point that I know Bravo only came on second half, but it was nice to see him actually have a reassured appearance. I knew he had no more to do, but the fans weren't sarky and applauding him. I thought it was quite a nice thing. And say Fangala as well. Thank you. Pleasure. City, City was slightly the better team, but I always felt that Liverpool had the chance to create some chances and possibly get get an equaliser but as soon as the red card occurred I felt that it took the wind out of Liverpool's sails and uh, City pretty much coasted to victory but played some nice football as well. Is it a red card in your opinion? At first when I saw it no uh, I thought he made a genuine attempt at the ball and the goalkeeper just got his head uh, literally a microsecond but I've seen a still picture of it and it looks a nasty challenge so on review, it was probably a red card. So as the City fans relive the goals that are on the screen behind me here in the concourse, it's got to say that it was a, an emphatic City victory. I personally think that it, it was a red card, it could be anything else. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne was my man of the match, though Leroy Sane and Gabriel Jesus getting two goals each means that they were strong challengers. They're always inventive and always fantastic. David Silver, of course, uh, played a, a big role, but there were there were man of the match performances all over the field. I thought Edison before he got sent before he went off, not got sent off, uh, made a great save and really looked the business. And as one of the fans said, I was glad to see that Claudio Bravo also looked good when he came on. So. Uh, overall, you can't really fault a performance like that, so it's onwards and upwards. And uh, as ever, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be on on Tuesday on XS Manchester, uh, that's 106.1 FM with Forever Blue. And I'll definitely be vlogging from the journey out to Feyenoord, uh, which I'll be uh, we'll commence in the middle of next week. So please uh, come back to us, subscribe, make sure you share the word. Let everybody know who doesn't know that the XS Manchester show exists, that it does. And, uh, and let's, let's keep this going, eh?